Hi guys and welcome to Toby's Blogs. Today I'm going to be talking about one of my favourite bands of the 90s and my childhood really, which is Steps. Okay, Steps is a cool band and it, uh, uh, through my childhood, um, I love Steps, even though Steps started in 1997. I was seven years old. But you know, I love Steps. I used to get up on top of the... Uh, cupboards and dance to steps and sing to steps and just absolutely love steps saw steps once in party in the park which i'm not sure they actually do anymore or at least you have to pay for it in brighton but um not as good as it was but steps yeah the 90s music i always find is the best music um i love the 90s music the music i grew up with things like steps five Spice Girls, even though people say the Spice Girls so Spice Girls were awesome and I will say that and you probably think oh you're a puff but still Spice Girls were awesome and they were awesome in the 90s but Steps were an awesome group in the 90s absolutely fantastic music loved it to bits um, and now they're coming back which is awesome yeah Steps is coming back um, and that is going to be one awesome event and um, they're having concerts all over the world and releasing a new album uh, well, with the best of all their songs with a new song Dancing Queen which is also awesome but uh, I've also been watching the, the Steps Reunion uh, thing from Sky um, Living which you can also watch online which I watched online on several sites it's all over there because the Steps is loved by millions and so that is put up on there in several different websites if you want to go and watch that last episode is on this Wednesday on Sky Living which I can't get Sky Living, so I have to watch it online. But still, and you kind of the kind of my idea, my childhood vision of this band is completely shattered by this documentary, because everything that I thought the Steps was and what happened in the Steps is just completely shattered by this documentary of what happened when they broke up, etc. Like I used to think as a child that the lead singer of Steps was Faye. Because she, in the videos, I was watching some of the videos a minute ago, and she, she's always in front all the time. So I almost thought the lead singer was Faye, but obviously not. It was Claire, and that would lead to rivalry between the band members, which was kind of weird. But still. And I also always thought that Lee and H were best mates, but obviously they weren't. So yeah, it's kind of disappointing watching that that, that, that documentary. It kind of put me off, really. And uh, But I'll still, I'd still love Steps, because it's my childhood favourite band favourite band of my childhood so I will love it always but you know and you know yeah there's also a rivalry about Lee not getting any lines or he can't hear him which I listened to a several songs just a minute ago and I couldn't hear him at all but when you watch the new listen to the new Dancing Queen um, step single you can hear him definitely on there which I thought was awesome but um yeah Steps my favourite band and what my favourite songs are Steps one of my favourite songs is uh, one that probably people must be unheard of is uh, Too Weak to Resist, sung by H, which I love. Too weak to resist, time can be a healer, or time can divide. I never meant for anyone to take you from my side. I'm just a man, just a man. And it comes down to this, I was just too weak to resist. I love that song, um, but uh, so those are the good singles from Steps. If you love Steps, put a little link down below saying you love Steps or something. Excited. And go and watch the reunion show, because it's really good. They all get together again, and now they're back together again. The Steps are back together, which is absolutely awesome. My childhood band are back together, and they are singing songs, and they made a new song, Dancing Queen, which is Norton. Well, they, the Steps use a pinch song from other people, like they pinch Tragedy from other people. Chain Reactions, also by the Bee Gees. Tragedies by the Bee Gees. So nick those from the Bee Gees, but obviously... Uh, on the documentary, uh, Robin Gibb was on there, so that was kind of cool. He's like, well, yes, yeah, so, you know, the uh, the Steps uh, did make quite a good version of Tragedy, that kind of thing, which is kind of awesome to see Robin Gibb with those works. I love the Bee Gees, as you already know. But, um, yeah, the 90s music was awesome. The stuff they have these days is absolute shit. Not compared to compared to the 90s music. You had Steps, S Club 7, maybe S Club 7 was the 2000 era, but I'm not sure. And then we had Bee Gees, we still going those, even though none of their good songs are from the 90s. Um, but um, Bee Gees still going. 
you had S Club 7, you had 5, you had Backstreet Boys, you had Westlife, you had all these other things which were awesome. Um, they produced the best music, the 90s was the best music. Well, take from my child, from my life, it's the best music. The stuff you have now is absolute shit compared to what was. And then you go back to the 80s and the 70s, still awesome music there, but I didn't live through those eras, so 90s has always been my favourite. Uh, era of music because it's the one I grew up with and Steps is awesome and they're coming back and they're having concerts and it's awesome and you go and watch the Steps uh, reunion show online or watch the next episode on Sky Living TV um, on Wednesday so at 9 o'clock which I can't watch but still see you, love Steps, hooray!